Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe we're already over halfway through October. The year is flying by, which is so scary, but simultaneously, I am very excited for the holidays. I really thrive with a little ho 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 holiday spirit, you know what I mean? That being said, this is the busiest time of the year for me and there is a lot going on right now. I'm already starting filming holiday projects. I am going to Copenhagen next week, which the timing of that trip, maybe not the best idea that I ever had, but I'm so excited. I've never been to Copenhagen before. I've had to adjust my schedule a little bit to get some things done before I go. So I'm already flipping my house over for the holidays, even though it's October 15th. It's okay, it is what it is. So I thought that it would be really fun to use this vlog to kind of show you guys how I'm getting started, switching over my bedding, setting up my Christmas trees. I also wanna go to my favorite Christmas shop, which just opened last week. Go do a little field trip, go there, and just enjoy life a little bit. The good thing about these vlogs is that it's really given me the space to take in the small things because I have to film my like b-roll footage so I'm noticing the trees I'm noticing architecture all the little things in life all the tiny beautiful moments I've paid a lot more attention to which I enjoy and I appreciate and I think has had a huge effect on my mental health and well-being anyway let's get this started I just figure I'll film over the next couple days see what happens and Enjoy the journey. stopped doing my hair over the summer. August and September were not fantastic months for me and I kind of just did whatever I could to get by. So I would slap a little bit of makeup on, not do my hair, just put it in a ponytail and then put on some pretty basic clothes and do as much as I can throughout the day with that. But in the last month or so, I've been trying really hard to actually get ready as I would if I was going into an office and seeing people. So I've been doing my hair, I've been putting on real makeup, putting on an actual outfit instead of just like a shirt. <laughs> a shirt and some shorts and trying to get ready the best that I can. And it's been working. I have to say that. Credit where credit's due. I do feel a lot better, a lot more confident. I'm a lot more motivated to get things done. A win is a win in my book. I'm also... <laughs> I'm almost out of mascara. If anyone has any recommendations for a good mascara, I use the Benefit Fan Fest, or I have the last couple times. I just keep buying the travel versions because I'm afraid of commitment. I don't really like it that much. I like a thick, bold mascara, and I also need it to be fully waterproof. Like when I sweat, I don't want it to smudge or be all over my face. So if anyone has any recommendations for a mascara that you love, please let me know. I actually think my brow gel is starting to dry out too. There's not much left. I use the Anastasia clear brow gel every day. And that's it. Let's get dressed. For an outfit, I have to put on the same one that I wore yesterday because I started to film a video yesterday and I didn't finish it. And I don't want to have a different outfit on in the video because this is going to be a very short clip. So I'm going to put on the same thing that I wore yesterday. I didn't wear it for that long, so it's not sweaty. My black and white striped turtleneck. This is by the brand Petit Bateau. When I worked in the fashion industry, I got this shirt, so I've had it for, I've had it for probably seven or eight years now, and it's still in perfect condition. I wear it every single winter. It was expensive. I didn't pay for it at the time because of my job, but their quality is really good, definitely worth it. And should I be doing this after I put my clothes on? Probably, but you'll see. And my blue sweater by Things Between I wear it all the time. I'll wear that over my turtleneck and then just put on jeans. Here's what it looks like on. I love a turtleneck. I feel like I need more of them. This is my only one that I own and you'll see in the winter, I wear it all the time. I wear it a lot. And then this blue, 
I should also get another one of these sweaters because I wear it all the time also. And just jeans. And now let's go have a bagel. I've been trying to get used to having hot coffee again, but I have to say, I am an iced coffee person. It just doesn't hit the same way. I'm still trying because I just feel like I should have it. Does that make sense? I feel like I should be having hot coffee and then it's hot coffee vibe. I need to have it because it's time of year, but my soul creeps iced coffee. I like the straw. I like drinking through a straw. I think that's part of it. But I'll try to keep up the charade for a couple more weeks and then maybe we'll go back. So today I got a bagel. Every time I go to Berry Food Camp, I always treat myself to a bagel after that. That is my reward for waking up at 6.30 in the morning and leaving my apartment to go to a class. I had to have a bite before I showered because I was so hungry, but I always get the Pumpernickel Everything Bagel. It's so good. I've never heard of a Pumpernickel Everything Bagel before I moved here and went to this coffee shop. It's Bagel Pub, the best bagel. I like things that have everything on it. I want the most extra maximalist food that I can have. Like I'm not a plain bagel person. I want, I want the everything bagel. I want the everything scallion, cream cheese. That's just a trait about me that is not gonna change anytime soon. So I'm just gonna cut my bagel. I don't think I'm gonna toast it today. And I usually put a little spread on it and then I have my egg bite muffins from Costco. Let me show you. It was so good. Fresh baked too this morning. I made them this morning. These are the egg bites that I'm obsessed with from Costco. They're so good. I've been having them for going on four months now, five months, ever since I got my Costco membership pretty much. But they're really good like healthy breakfast. I was making eggs before in the pan, but I just hated having to actually make the eggs and then clean the pan afterwards, which is such a pain. This, you just pop it in the oven for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and they're done. I have them on like a little pan right here. A good source of protein. They have veggies in them, but I don't think it's enough veggies to actually like make a difference in your diet, but I enjoy them. My last wedge of laughing cow cheese and I'll usually just do the spread of laughing cow cheese and then I'll mash the egg on top of the bagel and food that I eat is usually not pretty I will never be a food influencer sometimes I post snacks and stuff but like I eat really ugly food and I like it that way <laughs> it'll probably mortify some people this is what my breakfast looks like to me this looks good the eggs on the bagel with a little cheese spread. Not for everyone, but it is for me. I started to put my Christmas tree up. The truth is, I love Christmas. This brings me a lot of joy, and I'm so excited to transform my house for the holidays. I got a lime green tree this year. I'm gonna have a couple trees. But this year the new addition is a lime green tree. I also have a lavender one that I got last year. And I have a basic Christmas tree, but I might donate that one this year just because, honestly, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it up. I still need to fan this guy out because he was tight in the box. But TBD, the other trees, the green tree is really the PS de resistance this year. So, I'm excited for her. This do 
you guys fan out your trees all the way around or do you leave the part that faces the back untouched? Because I fan it out all the way around, but every year I'm tempted to just leave the back and say screw it because no one's ever going to see it. But for whatever reason, I do it anyway. Now it's about three o'clock and I think I'm going to go to the John Darian store in the city. He's this amazing designer with a beautiful store or like three stores. It's three separate stores on one street, all by the same owner, all similar theme, but different stuff. But one of the stores for Christmas, they transform into a winter wonderland with a million ornaments. Every ornament you could ever want they have. And I just saw on Instagram that they switched over the store last week. So... I feel like it's my duty to go see what they have. The John Darien stores are on East 2nd Street in the East Village, and it's a very interesting street because it's pretty much all residential apartment buildings, so you probably wouldn't walk down the street unless you had a reason to. And their stores fit in so nicely with the surroundings. Like, they kind of don't even look like stores. They look like they're part of the apartment buildings. So for years, I would walk by this place, and I didn't even realize it was a store. I just thought that it was someone really cool's apartment because it fits in so well with everything else in the neighborhood. But um, wait until you see what's inside. It's so beautiful. rather successful trip. I didn't spend that much money. I was very well behaved. I got four little reindeer and I also got a garland in the second store which I thought would look really good on my lime green tree. Hang on I'll show you guys. I got this like colorful garland. I was thinking I could recreate that garland like if I bought one I could duplicate it on my own. I'm not sure if I could do it just through pictures so I just got it to use as an example and then I'm gonna try to make more from craft paper and we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. But I think it'll look cool on my green tree. spirit I also decided I'm gonna switch out my bedding today this is the bedding situation this year from rifle paper co I got a duvet euro shams and then regular pillowcases and this nutcracker print I think it's so cute and then the sheets are the same sheets from last year 
They're these red and white striped sheets. If you followed me last year, you probably remember them. I had them on my bed for quite a while, actually, past the holiday season, but they are back. So I'm gonna switch out the tulips and the flowers and go for Christmas. actually don't know how to put a duvet cover on a duvet properly, but I did watch Wishbone Kitchen's video a couple months ago with her tutorial. And I think I remember from memory how she did it, but we're gonna see. So first you turn it inside out. And then you find the little ties on the inside of the duvet cover and tie it to the strings. I'm gonna flip it. Now for something else you won't see on Instagram. The sheets are super wrinkled, so I'm going to attempt to steam them while they're still <laughs> on the bed so they don't look as wrinkled in the video. Okay, here's what the bed looks like for now. I don't know how to make a bed in an adult way. So this is my best attempt. That pillow is from last year. I'm not sure if she will stay or she will go. Preferably, I'd like to find a little nutcracker pillow. I don't know how to stack these. This is what a diagram showed me online. Seemed, seemed like the right thing to do. Uh, I switched out the green rug. I moved it from over there to over here. That's the mess that's, that's going on. And I'm gonna put some new art on the wall behind the bed. So far so good. So now it's Wednesday afternoon and I think I'm going to end this here so that I can get it up and ready for you guys for Friday morning. But let me know if you liked this video by liking and subscribing. Apologies if you are not a Christmas person, but if you're not, you probably didn't make it this far in the video. If you are, you are in good company and there is a lot more Christmas decorating and Christmas content to come. So follow along. I will see you next week, probably in Copenhagen. See you soon.